Data Resonance. Or Dante Resonance. I don't know why it's pronounced like... Ugh. That's just... <laughs> There's like three ways to pronounce that, that thing. And it's, they'd use the stupidest one. Sunday. It's just Sunday. Okay. Hitomi Sagan, Iris's mother. What the hell? Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Why is Mizuki and her here? Mizuki, what? what are you doing? What's it look like? Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. What? I received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. What? Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. And she, she's bench pressing that much? What the hell? A bench press. Yeah, very much so. Uh, this is ridiculous. This is where I live? <laughs> so we're close. Mizuki's clothes and mine hanging on the rack. We each have basically one outfit. That's because we're rational people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power <laughs> thinking about the clothes to wear every day. <laughs> A lot of successful businessmen and scientists do it. Okay, honestly, Mizuki and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. <laughs> Freaking game devs. <laughs> Stupid. This, this is just the dumbest. <laughs> my clothes and Mizuki's. Uh, clothes are hanging on a rack. They're mine and Mizuki's. I see you two hang your clothes side by side. You get along well. Oh, the, I guess they don't. This is very weird. It feels like a dream state. I feel like we're in a dream. Mizuki's favorite metal pipe. I have no idea what she uses it for. That's fair. Favorite metal pipe by the wall. Okay. A backpack. In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. Yes, they don't own any trousers, Wibbies. Tis, tis a, a sad, but terrible truth. No underwear for, for, all, for all of us. They're going commando, baby. Uh, a three-seat sofa I also use as a bed. I've been sleeping here for four years. Uh, Mizuki took over the bed. Do, 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 do. Let me do this real quick. Burr, 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 burr. There we go. That will quiet down the, the beep booping. There's a three seated sofa in the center of the room. Yeah, you, you mentioned. Why is she like this? She just straight up bench presses this. <laughs> There's a cork board on the wall. I always kind of wanted a cork board. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I kind of do. Like, I think it'd be cool to have a cork board. Like, for real, real. Same thing with, like, a. What, what you calls it? A dry erase board? Like, that, I think those are nice. Large speakers. <laughs> Even his damn ass large speakers? <laughs> this is a nice sound system. Oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. You did what? <laughs> I haven't paid it off yet. Oh, oof. That stuffed animal. It's Mizuki's favorite character. What's its name again? Yeah, that's Adder Rabbit. You gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Aw. You don't have to tell her that. I'm sorry? <laughs> it's Adder Rabbit. A stuffed rabbit. Of course, it's also obvious. A bed. Mizuki sleeps there every night. God dang, they do have- they have no privacy here. The entrance. 
Date, I'm sorry. I looked inside your fridge earlier. Why do you have so much meat in there? Oh, I'm on a diet. You see, I'm... I'm a recovering vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am impressed you actually got a laugh. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Come on, Iva. It's packed with beer, food, and a bunch of meat. A man's meal. Is that, is that what they're trying to get off here? It's a pot. Well, where's the pan? Seasoning and sake for cooking. A kitchen. There are seasonals, uh, seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. Flare. Very flare. That's an unusual pattern on this cushion. Oh, don't touch that. That's Date's drool. Ew. <laughs> a cushion on the sofa. Oh my god. A coffee table. The top is glass. I would definitely like a, a glass coffee table, I'm not gonna lie. I think that would be really nice to have. Ah. <sighs> Freaks! <laughs> Date, is it true? Mizuki told me you hid a magazine under the rug. Something about eating a nice spread? Why did you hide a cooking magazine? Date, answer the woman. A rug, okay. Um, I guess that's all we have, really? Computer. A You're PC. a studious man, aren't you, Date? I heard from Mizuki. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer, watching training videos. Training videos? Yes, a female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. Ah, yes. Yeah, that. Right. What? Mizuki, did you watch that movie? Only the title. Don't touch my computer without asking. <laughs> He's watching porn. <laughs> a small file cabinet. I keep a bunch of documents there. Okay chair. There's a chair next to the desk. Okay, we need to get to the bottom of this. Girl, what are you doing? How long do you plan on doing that? Until my muscles are screaming at me to stop. You there yet? No, nope, not even close. My muscles are laughing like this is nothing. Dante, I would not push Mizuki while she is in this state. <laughs> oh my god. You may end up killed via head injury. Yeah, why is she this strong? Why is she this strong? When I started talking to her, Mizuki re-racked the weight. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was Teacher who stayed with me all night. Okay. So she stopped bench pressing. Okay. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. Yeah, it'd be best not to tell her right now. It's best not to. When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So you pulled it out. Oof. Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Oof. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Well, that's good. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was it. Oh, dang. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Oh. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me. Oh my god, this girl. I want to protect her. She's so precious. I mean, honestly, like legit. She's just straight up. Oh my god. Her parents effectively don't love her, from my understanding of how this whole entire thing goes. And the fact that she wants to just be needed in this way just hurts because I could feel this. I understand this type of pain. I've seen it before. And oof. Look at those eyes. I had his proper eyes for it. I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Loom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because Oof. you don't talk. Because you don't listen. Oof. <laughs> She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. <laughs> I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. She's so understanding. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball. No. It was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Mizuki is on the bench press. All right, you tell me. Let's let's talk about you. We get X-ray. Date, something catches my eye. Hitomi's right shoulder. Use the X-ray. Why? You'll see. Okay. Um, I think we should say all these things first. You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher. And then she started to cry. Aww. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. Circumstances with Renju? So what I understand, the mom didn't want her. And it's likely that the mom and dad broke up because of that situation. And if anything, what probably happens is that he doesn't have full custody of, of Mizuki, or like he doesn't want to have full custody for a certain situation or something like that. So I guess this makes sense. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me, but I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to her school with her or anything like that. That was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her, uh, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. Fair. You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here. That's right. A district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. 
They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes. But I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here. My house. Mizuki takes a train every morning to get there. Dang, this girl goes through a lot. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. Aww. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Aww. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Sounds like more <laughs> than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy. <laughs> and just like Renju. Oh, that's really sweet. So is Renju and her dating? Oh, 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 oh. No! No! We can't, like, get the rest of this. Oh. Oh, that hurts. That's... A plate of medical-grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh. Did she and the... the guy, like, have an affair or something? Uh, Tomi has a metal plate in her right shoulder. Yep. That's, that's for sure. Oh. Does it bother you? Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died, and... Yep. Anyway, the story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. And he was carrying a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. What? The dream I saw. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. Okay, so now we have a map again, and it looks like... Oh, no, we have one more. What else do we have to look at? Because it's saying that we, like, have, like, more to, like, like do with her, or no? Oh. Okay weird. I don't know why it, it did it out that way, but okay then. So I guess we could visit all three, I guess? Hmm. Well, let's go see the father next. I think that's the next big thing that we should do instead of going to Marvel. Because uh, Marvel could just not be a lead altogether, and we might be stressed for time or something. I don't know. Let's, let's go. Central Hospital, Sunday. TV. An LCD TV. Dante, look! Sabako is coming out of the TV! <laughs> what? Who? Who's Sabako? There's an LCD TV on the top of the bedside table. A bedside table. Bedside table. Headlight fable. That's not even a thing. <laughs> Wait, let's make it a thing. Come on. A window. Oh, of course. A curtain uses a divider. Patient monitor. Equi uh, equipment used for monitoring vital signs. It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. 
There's no one here. Indeed. The bed is empty. Did we miss? No one is in the bed. I guess we missed. So if you don't go to Renju first... Oh! Hello, pretty lady. How are you? A nurse is standing there. Mr. Okiura's room. I'm certain of it. I'm a nurse. I work here. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiura. He snuck out at night. Oh? Snuck out? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital. Even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. Hmm. Iba, call and escape. Roger that. Hello, this is Lemniscate Entertainment Offices. Oh, it's her. Let me hear your message. Thank you. The booby lady. What kind of employee uh, training do they have there? Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Rinji. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry. No clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him, too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the Maid Cafe. Maid Cafe? <laughs> Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw, like, a secret party or something? But with the accident and all... Still, he might be there. I know about Sunfish Pocket. Renji used to talk about it. He runs Lemonsgate, as well as that maid cafe. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. I love Sunfish her. Sunfish Pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. Okay, so that's the extra thing. He's not here, as you can see. Okay, so that's that's all there is to that. Yeah, I'm guessing just gone, 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 fawn, fawn, fawn. It's a cupboard. Oh no, the most dangerous of cupboards. Um, that's it, folks. That's 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 all there was to that. So we can either go to Marble or we go to Sunfish Pocket. I'm gonna go to Sunfish Pocket because now I'm thinking with the way that they're they're pointing out more and more with the dad and everything that this is not dad did it. This is more a matter of dad was framed and like he doesn't know how to get out of the situation. Maybe in the other timeline he actually did do it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it was the wife that did it. I could definitely see the wife being like the big co-conspirator and all this. Like she, was, like she killed herself and then framed the husband. She sounded like crazy in that dream. So, makes sense. Sunfish Pocket, Sunday. Welcome home, Sea King. I love her. Sea King? Oh! <laughs> Is this your first time here? Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Hmm. Oh my god, why is he here? Jeez, kid. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, sir! Oh, wait a minute! Dot 
Dante? So why is this full here? Oh my god. Oh no, there's so much to look at again! <laughs> the place is up on the second floor. There's nothing on the window. A security camera. Oh, that's good information. The girls are not- are working. Okay. The door I came in. There are pictures of girls on display. So, who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. Uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. Oh. <laughs> fair. Very fair. That customer looks like he's on death's door. Let's hope he's not blowing his life savings here. He looks seriously ill. Why do these customers look ill? Hmm. Okay, counter. The counter! What kind of furniture can you drink? Um, a light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. The answer is liquefied leather sofa. What? Why would anyone ever guess that? <laughs> can you even drink that? What, girl? What are you talking about? What's in the box? The severed bottom half of a mermaid. <laughs> you could have just said the tail. Nope. Severed half box. Yep. Apparently a mermaid's tail is in there. Okay. Trident. Oh, there's a bunch of tridents. Yeah, that could be used for murder. <gasps> Chair! The omelette rice looks delicious. I would love to have omelette rice. The cafe's menu. Option ah, uh, 2,000 yen. And what is on? Uh, I'm guessing it's some sort of thing. Table. And a table. Why does he have a trident? My dude, why do you have a trident? Cream soda, huh? Sounds about right, Rhoda. Ota. It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. The cafe signboard. It says Sunfish Pocket. This is all super weird. Alright, I think we're good now. With everything here. So let's... wait. Where's the green pictures? There are pictures of girls on display. Okay, that's, that's all it was. I just gotta like do this sort of. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Kitchen window? You can see the kitchen back there. <laughs> what kind of cafe is this? This is a hell, I tell like what? A real row can be heard uh, from the kitchen. Yes, indeed. Okay, I think that's all. Kitchen door. The doorway to the kitchen. The walls are decorated with life preservers. It looks like a flotation device, right? But it's actually a huge donut. What? Girl? What? Donut. That doesn't sound right, but there might be a huge donut up there. <laughs> okay, then. Let's, let's talk to Mermaid Girl. She's cute. <laughs> At this cafe, the maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. Ooh. Oh! Skeleton. Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with x ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. <laughs> Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. <laughs> the concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? Bones. I want to see them bones. <laughs> okay, what's the Sea King? That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the Sea Kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. Aw. What? 
Everyone working here is a real mermaid. Oh, you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet. So that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. <laughs> Dante, let's go. <laughs> no, not yet. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> I love this. Do not listen to her siren song. I would indeed listen to her siren song. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Dante of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. No, he never showed up. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so... He comes sometimes, but not all that often. Okay, um... A mermaid. A mermaid. Can I look, look behind her? No, not really. Her hips? Are you seeing this? Oh my god. I'm about to cry tears of joy. <laughs> Do you have a paraphilia for bones? <laughs> what is a paraphilia? I need to know this. A bonophilia? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get them bones! <laughs> we need them bones. I'm looking up right now, y'all. I wanna know what this means. Paraphilia. A condition characterized by abnormal sexual desires, typically involving extreme or dangerous activities. Huh. So the bones is the thing. Can you still do more things? A mermaid. What, what else can I do? X-ray specs. Look, huh. I can see right through. You seriously disgust me, Date. <laughs> There's more to it. There's more, fam. There's more to bones. A mermaid for sunfish pocket. She has such a gorgeous, well-balanced bone structure. Good, good for her. A, a paraphilia is a weird fetish, Alma. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Oil drum! Rusty oil drum. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Alright, let's talk to Oda. What, what, what are you... Boy! What are you doing? Oda is sitting opposite me. It's not a spear. It belongs to Poseidon. God of the sea. You know... A trident? Why do you have that? <laughs> we treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> more like a way to exploit their vanity <laughs> to separate our customers from their money as much as possible that sounds even worse <laughs> she kind of sounds like a mermaid that is exploiting everybody so i mean like hey hey yo uh date is a skeleton fucker confirmed yes he is very much so <laughs> I'm still gold. Not that good. <laughs> How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. Oh my god. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I get it. I don't like Ota. I, I don't, because he, he's a weeb. <laughs> but, like, legit. Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think? But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. Huh? But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home. 
so I bought a new one. A new what? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? How's he getting all this money? I'm very confused on that because, like, le legitimately enough, he only has, like, his mom that has that restaurant. So it's confusing. Because I'm worried about Tessa. Tessa? Iris. Uh oh. What's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning? I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, from her living room at home. But suddenly... That's terrible acoustic. Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. So she's just, she's part of the just chatting people. She wasn't playing the Minecraft. Who could it be at this hour? Is it Dante again? Okay, one second, I'm coming! Sorry everyone, something came up. But I've gotta go for now. I'll sing the rest next time. What? Where'd she go? What the heck? Oh, she might have died. We only stopped one part, I guess. No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. I yes, should have stayed. Are. I should have done something. Why did I do that? Is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah, seriously. Good. Ota deserves to be dragged in the mud. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. While you're sitting here adding up your options? <laughs> but you can order too, Date. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. <laughs> She's just all smiling about things. Don't smile about that. Oh my god. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's hmm. weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? And then she leaves? Oh, that's bad. She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessie used to work here. Oh. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls too, but no one knows anything. Iva, call Iris. This is bad, fam. This is real bad. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Did I bet something wrong, sir? Do that? No, nothing. I wonder if Tessa's okay. 
I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. And here we go again with this. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> this fool! This dude is such a simp! Like, legit! <laughs> you look like you can eat just fine. Yeah, but he can't eat by his, his self, okay? Otaku are not competent people. Date, Renju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Well then, I guess that's that, right? Hmm. I'm surprised we can't do anything about security footage. Because the whole entire party last night seems like something that, that like, happened or something like that. But okay. So it's just go to Marble. Alright then. 